Police officers in France were condemned for their use of tear gas, rubber bullets and water cannons during the high-profile Yellow Vest Gilets Jaunes protests. But those images we saw all over social media could soon be a thing of the past. That is because France is debating a new legal amendment which would make it a criminal offence to identify any police officer in online footage. This is all being brought under an amendment known as Article 24, which adds to existing legislation. Now, it would make it illegal to disseminate by whatever means and whatever media the face or identity of any official from the National Police Force or the National Gendarmerie when they are in operation. But this is especially important if it is with the aim of damaging their physical or psychological integrity. And this offence would carry a prison sentence of up to one year and a maximum fine of €45,000. Now, the French Interior Minister, Gérald Darmanin, has said that this is necessary to protect those people who protect us, focusing on those increasing allegations of harassment and threats which are being made towards French police officers. But this amendment is controversial and it's not popular with everyone. You have, for example, media organisations such as Reporters Without Borders. They have said that this is a dangerous precedent for freedom of speech. That amendment is too vague, they say, and it means that other journalists in their work when filming in the field could be accused of causing intent to harm to police officers. Now, there is a caveat in this law, which means that journalists are allowed to film if they send this footage to the relevant judicial and administrative authorities. But Reporters Without Borders are saying that that doesn't go far enough, and they have called on French Assembly members to reject this new bill. It's the, the second one that has been appealed and suggested by En Marche. That's Emmanuel Macron's party. Well, Reporters Without Borders aren't the only ones with criticism, and earlier I spoke to Cécile Coudreau, who is the president of Amnesty International France. And she says that this new bill is also too vague and could also give rise to police brutality. This could be really an open door to very arbitrary interpretation. So therefore, we think it is a dispropor disproportionate attack on free speech, not only for journalists, but also for citizens who could witness for example, an illegal use of force by the authorities, and it would be very um, difficult for them. It would be like a chilling effect, if you like, not only on journalists, but also citizens to testify thanks to a video, even though this video could be sometimes the only evidence. Well, demonstrations against this proposed bill have also been taking place across France, for example, here in Lyon, as well as in the capital Paris, outside the Assembly Nationale. The organisations and those people proposing this bill say it is necessary, but a number of human rights organisations like Amnesty, you just heard there, Isabel, they say this is a disproportionate measure and is a dangerous moment for freedom of speech.